Astro Suite for Obsidian. What is it? How does it work? And how can you get it working with your static Astro website? Well, what we're looking at right now is an Obsidian Vault, and we're looking at a base view of cards that are stacking all the notes, which in this case are blog posts, in reverse chronological order, just like you would see in some kind of CMS platform for a blog. So I'm gonna open this one. We've got properties up here with tags, a description, all the information that's helpful for Astro to render blog posts and all the content here, just like you would in an Obsidian note. So another example is this website, lilagents.com. It's got a similar setup. We've got all the properties that are unique to that particular Astro theme. We've got embedded tables, everything else. Here is an example with the minimal theme, and we'll actually see the Astro suite in practice. We'll start with by hitting Control N. It says Astro Composer built in. So we'll start with capital E example as the blog post title. And you can see it's automatically inserted a underscore prefix, which basically gives us a draft status as far as Astro is concerned. It ignores files and folders with an underscore in front of it. Then we're going to give it an example heading. And then we're actually going to link to another note. So if I want to link to, let's say, the focus blog post, this works with Wikilinks or Markdown links. It doesn't matter which. And let's say I want to modify it like that. And then I want to insert an image. So that'd be control apostrophe. And let's say I want to insert an image of some mountains. This is pulling from Unsplash, but it can pull from other sources as well. It's going to immediately ask me what I want to name this file. So I'm going to call it mountains. Rename it, it's gonna automatically go in the assets folder up here in the correct location. The only remaining step is to say a photo of mountains. This is for alt text and also is best, is best practice for SEO and for web standards. And now uh, I'm gonna show you one more thing as well. In the front matter template here, which is the properties template, we're gonna add a new item. And this is where the magic comes in of standardizing front matter comes in. If I hit one keystroke, it's going to identify all the front matter it needs to insert, and it's gonna find every internal link like this and make sure it renders properly for Astro. With this control S, it does both at the same time. So now if I go over to this link, you can see it follows the appropriate slug for that internal link. And up here, it added the image front matter as well, which is pretty awesome. So what I can also do here is I can do assets mountains.png. And now if I go back to the main view and I add a property, or rather I change the view to include an image property, which in this case will be image, you can see that image got pulled in and I can start using that for that visual view that I was showing you in the other vault examples. For this case, I'm actually gonna turn it off, but I wanted to show you that's how easy it is to do, give it that look. It's just inserting the front matter that works and then displaying it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that front matter now. But that is how easy it is. And all I have to do if I want is to immediately publish this is simply go to the git uh, plugin here and make sure it's configured and if get set up that is, all I have to do is hit Control Shift S, which is the plugin uh, shortcut that I've set. It's committing files up here, you can see, and it pushed 14 files to remote. So this now is live on this particular blog and it was that easy, I never had to leave Obsidian and I was able to get this new draft blog post up into the website. So how can you get this set up for your particular blog. So let's investigate that now. So let's start here. So here we have Slate Blog. This is a great blog that that is actually meant to be used with Obsidian. It's an Astro blog. So if I were to open this, you can kind of see it's got this table of contents on the right. It's got a bunch of different embedded examples here. It's very capable. It's one of my favorites. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to the repository on GitHub for this theme, here it is, and we are going to fork it. So I'm gonna click fork here, and all you have to do is click that, give it a name, and click create fork. I've actually already done this myself, so we're just gonna assume that 
that's been done already. I'm gonna minimize this and open where it is on my hard drive. So here's the theme here. Now, if I wanna integrate the Astro Suite into this, all I have to do is download the Astro Suite from the GitHub. And of course, if you're watching this video, there's a link to that uh, to get to it. So we have two options here. We have default and we have minimal. For this particular example to work with slate blog, I'm going to use the default option. So all I have to do here is I have to select these folders and hit copy. And after that, we're gonna to wanna to go back to the slate blog and we're gonna to navigate to source content. And right here is where we're gonna paste the files. So I'm gonna hit control V to paste. And here we have it. The vault has been inserted here. So now we're gonna open this vault. So to do that, I'm gonna open Obsidian. I'm gonna select manage vaults and I'm gonna open a vault. And here we have slate blog. It found the correct place automatically, but in case you, it doesn't pop up for you, just go to source, content, and this, whatever the, the, the parent folder that has the dot obsidian folder in it, that's what you're gonna to wanna to select. Then when you click that, this is going to pop up that says, do you trust the author of this vault? And you're gonna say yes, enable the plugins, and here it is all set up and ready to go. So what you'll see is, after the initial setup, it's gonna work exactly the way that you expect. All the blog posts from the Slate blog are actually right here. Uh, they, they popped up automatically. And in case you kind of forgot how this all works, there is a Astro Suite Vault Guide post right in here to explain how all the plugins work, what does what, and it's very you know plug and play, ready to go. We have this images directory already set up. So images that you paste from your clipboard or that you pull in from the image inserted plugin automatically get thrown in there. So let's just do an example post. So I'll hit Control N for a new note. I'm gonna call this my awesome blog post. Now what you'll notice is it gave it kebab case automatically. It put it within the posts folder automatically. So we are all good to go there. I would just have to add a, a description like um, this. This is a description. We can add a tag. And again, if you'd like, you can actually configure your properties template to fill a lot of this stuff in for you if you have ones that you use a lot. So let's do another image insertion just to kind of show you how this works. I'll do, this time I'll do fruit. So let's grab an image of fruit. This one looks pretty good. I'm gonna call this fruit. And you can see it automatically placed it into this image folder. And this is going to work out of the box with this slate blog. And if you'd like, you can go into the settings and navigate to the git plugin and enable it. And it's going to automatically push your changes with a single keystroke with control shift S. When you launch this, it's gonna do a pull automatically and then it's gonna let you push a blog post as well. I encourage you to go to the Astro Composer settings to immediately see what the setup is. If you're using the Slate blog, it's already going to be configured for your particular needs. But if for some reason you need to change this, all the tools are right here at your proposal. Uh, uh, here at your disposal. I almost said proposal. Um, I actually have a video that covers this plugin specifically that I will link to, so I won't bother covering it again. But this is where you can change all the settings that you'll need to get it configured to your particular Astro site. This custom save command bundles the two commands, standardize properties and convert internal links for Astro into one with just control S. Default new tab page sets this obsidian base as, to, as what will open by default when you go into a new tab. And home page sets your default home page as that Obsidian base as well. And of course we already covered the image inserter and paste image rename plugins, which this one can grab from your, you know, uh, provider of choice. You can, you know, Pixabay, you can do Pexels or uh, even a local repository or even a proxy server or use your own API key for Pixabay or Pexels. So you have control over where you want to source it. Or if you prefer, you don't even have to use the image insertion plugin. You can just drag or drop a file in here. You can paste directly from your clipboard and it's all going to work just the same. 
So this is a draft status post. So I'm gonna hit Control Shift S to push this. We're gonna see if it's actually gonna commit and it's actually gonna work. Let's see if it does. Okay, check this out. It pushed 10 files to remote. That means this is currently live on the Slate blog that I've spun up through Netlify. So all this to say, I'm very excited about this plugin. I think you're gonna get a ton of value out of it. Uh, please, if you have questions or uh, you find a bug or you have a recommendation or a suggestion, please do a pull request or reach out to me directly. Um, I'm excited to see more people starting to use Obsidian and Astro together. And I just want this to be the the package that really gets them over the over the line to start doing it. So thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.